All right, guys, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. Basically, this video will show you how to lay out a point in the field that you already surveyed previously. I just finished the survey, so um, the survey I did, the layout looked like this. You got the ditch, and then I shot a point, uh, 1001. That's my, that's my um, benchmark, which is basically that X on the head gate. And then I, I, shot a, I shot a bunch of shots. I shot shots here in an existing ditch. And I shot the field. Um, but let's just say that I forgot to shoot one point or I want to lay out a point after the fact. And I have to do another setup. If you have to do that, um, you're more likely to be in the office. And so at the office, what you're going to do is you're going to get in your data collector and you're going to find this point and then the point that you want to lay out and so the way I do it is and it's no different than what you can do but you're gonna go into uh, jobs and then uh, map and then hit the little pan button and then uh, the point that uh, thousand and one the benchmarks amongst these points here and then the point that I want to lay out is um, 1,015, that point right there. So I found them in the map, but then what you got to do after just to find their actual um, point, uh, the northern easting in elevation, you're going to go to jobs, you're going to go to a review job, and then I'm going to look for point 1,001 first. Just scroll through all the points and there's a thousand one then I'm gonna click the little plus sign next to it so it brings up the northern easting so there's I need to write down the northern easting and elevation the whole number for the northern the whole number for the easting and the elevation and then remember the number too because you're, you're gonna need you need if uh, you can enter it by the number and then lastly, I go to 1,015. And like again, you'll be doing this at the office more likely. So my 1,015 point is there. And then I go to my northern easting and elevation. So I already got these numbers entered. So in the office, make sure you write down the numbers. Uh, so there's my benchmark 1,001 number. There's my 1,015. And then even better than doing it by hand, you can actually just um, export the CSV file. Just make sure when you export the CSV file that you um, make sure the numbers are out to the thousands. Because you have to enter what I'm going to show you by, into, by the, to the thousands exactly. So uh, so now we're done with that. Now we're actually going to, I'm done with my survey here. So I'm just going to pretend that I finished it. Well, I'm not pretending I'm actually doing it. So we'll exit out of my survey, shut down survey. And I don't want to power down the receiver. So now it's day two and I come out here and I need to lay out uh, point thousand fifteen, Or I want to go exactly to that point and see that maybe the contractor, that point was originally an elevation and it has to be uh, final grade elevation I want to go check it uh, that's that's those are other uses for what I'm about to show you so basically you're gonna go to general survey it's like creating a new survey general survey jobs new job I'm just gonna name this test one uh, the date is 325 19 and then I'm going to click enter, accept, and it's going through all the rig and roll. So then I'm going to go to, um, you already have a video that I showed you how to set up the base and all that. Um, and But I'll do it again, I guess. We're going to start the base receiver. 